strange. What, what should be, be a bigger story in media or these sports media, we talked about the Ime Udoka story where we're not going to get any more information on that more than likely, or it will. It'll come out slowly unless they just decide we're tired of all the, the narrative. We're just going to throw it out there on y'all. Sponsors are sticking with Brett Favre, even though he stole $5 million from poor people in Mississippi. Nobody's really talking about when people are obviously are talking about it, but it's not talked about as much. This should be think. the bigger story. It should be a much bigger story because it's not just him. It's the governor. It's it's a lot of people involved in this, and he's able to just walk away and get away with it. And he said he ain't paying. Well, he said he wasn't gonna pay it back, but he gave some of it back, but not the interest. He paid it back. Yeah, he just didn't give the interest. He didn't give the interest, but now they're saying there's five million involved. And the crazy part is, you know what's really crazy about this? He wanted the five million <laughs> so that he can build a volleyball stadium for his daughter's team. $5 million to build a volleyball stadium. He felt it of importance for his daughter and their team. And he used, he stole the money from welfare funds. So the poorest people in the, the poorest people in the poorest state, <laughs> he stole from them to build a stadium. But the same person who run Mississippi said that they don't agree with Jackson State getting funds to build a stadium. You expect for them to have the same I don't support for you as they do their own? I don't. But it's a college. That they have no value, no interest in. That's the, that's the biggest point. They don't care. So that means you have to care and do for sale. That means people voted for him. Black people. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they do like, that. He don't care. Like, I don't, we don't care. We'll give him money for a volleyball team, <clears throat> but we're not going to build a stadium for a football team that can make us even more money. We don't even care if it could actually benefit us. <laughs> we would rather throw it to the damn garbage. It's crazy. But they obviously, they obviously found text messages where Brett Favre was saying, this, there's no way this can come back to me and where this money came from, right? And they're like, no, we got you, man. You're good. You're good. Well, you're not good. <laughs> uh... Some of the brands have quietly gotten away from Brett Favre. Um, see, brands are quiet quitting Brett Favre amid welfare scandal. Uh, Cooper Fitz uh, still featured Favre in ads, while Sirius XM failed to respond to questions about his status. A pharma company and Prayer app have, have deleted most mentions of Favre. At least two brands appear to be quietly distancing themselves from Brett Favre in the aftermath of his connection to the welfare scandal in Mississippi. Favre and the pharma star, startup and the Hall of Fame quarterback have worse associated <clears throat> with the link to uh, millions of diverted funds. According to the filings of the media reports, latest allegations related to 5 million in misused welfare money that went to build a volleyball state <laughs> complex at a college where the daughters played. Daughter played, uh, were reported by Mississippi Today in September 13th. Now, <clears throat> one in particular came out and defended him 100%, saying that we're not getting rid of him. We've known him for years. You know, we know him. We sticking with him. He's been proven innocent. <laughs> so we're gonna stick with him. Uh, they staying loyal to their to their boy. Um but yeah, this would be a much bigger deal than it is. Uh and this is another story that is getting no media attention in sports. Herm Edwards staff helped get him fired in an unbelievable way. Herm Edwards, <laughs> coach of the Arizona uh, Arizona State. Do you know, I even got to read this. His staff was sending, <laughs> was leaking information about the team's uh, game plan to other teams so that they would lose. His staff wanted him fired so bad they were sabotaging his game plan by giving the other team the plays and stuff he was going to do. Who's his staff? What do you mean who's his staff? Arizona, he worked for Arizona, Arizona State. I'm asking who is his staff. Are they they're white? They're majority well, I saw white. somebody say he liked to hire white people. Well. <laughs> you think that's fair? Then a you second. Did, you should, don't you pick who you hire? It doesn't matter who he hire, do it? It does matter who he hire. 
when I hire people, it, yes, it's based on my views of them and how I think they're going to help the team. This is not even a big story, and it should be. He's probably going to sue Arizona State. <laughs> he got to sue him. But I was looking out, I, I saw this story, <clears throat> and I'm thinking about the black coaches who decide not to go coach at HBCUs. Um, and then I came across a a video from a podcast where they talked about uh, Deion Sanders being at Jackson State, and a guy made comments like, you know, he think he's using HBCUs in Jackson State. He don't really care. He's just using them as a stepping stone, and it's not really going to benefit HBCUs in the long run. How people supporting this are actually cooning, and they'll realize it in five to ten years. And I thought, is it really cooning if you coach HBCUs, get the funding up, make them bring in a different culture, and in four bring five in a years, different culture. Yeah, and in four, what's the culture going to be? Winning. You bring in a different culture, a winning culture. You change the dynamic of tradition that actually makes sense and not just stick with it because you want to keep doing it. And in five to 10 years, five, I mean, four to five years, you leave. Is that cooning? And you go to a PWI. Yes. You think that's cooning? Because you were never there for your people. You were only there using them as a stepping stone to get where you need to go. But they benefited greatly. Well, who's to say they're going to, are they going to continue to be great after you leave? No, you're talking about while he was there, they benefited greatly. So it's not, about afterwards, though. So there's not a trade-off there. It's only one-sided. So you have, you're have you trading with your people to succeed and go on and move upwards? Isn't everything about give and take? We we get as much as you get? I just I disagree with it. So you think it's just... Or are you just against the whole idea of a co- of a black coach going to a PWI? Yes. Okay, well, that's a different opinion. Not I don't disagree with it. But what I'm asking is... If you're benefiting a you college. You disagree with it. How I disagree with it? Because you said it, uh, earlier you said it was fine. To my point, if you're at a college, HBCU, and you're helping them greatly, you're bringing in more money, donations, uh, and you decide to leave to go to another school or PWI, if they benefited as much as you did. Yes, they benefited. But you were only there to elevate yourself. You were never there with the intent of staying, your intent was to build your build yourself up and then go on and leave. But what if the whole purpose of me leaving is because I'm trying to elevate the entire conference, but certain people don't want to change tradition. If y'all not going to change, I got to go. Is that not a, a fact? Okay. Go somewhere else. And then in a couple of years that I happen with this situation happening, they get your ass out. <laughs> go. And your staff will get you. Fired. Go. <laughs> don't come back. <laughs> um, They've been wanting him gone. I know some people in the athletics department. Yeah, they, they've been talking bad about him. Uh, huh? They said they know somebody? Yeah, yeah. Bryant. <laughs> yeah, Herm, Herm Edwards is the one, if I'm not mistaken. Was it Herm, Herm Edwards? No, no, no. I'm thinking about Tony Dungy, um, who built the team. I think it was uh, the Bucks, And they won. Oh, Bucks or some one of them. Anyway, yeah, Herm Edwards, they've been wanting to get rid of him for a little while, especially the last couple months. It's been a little... Rocky, to say the least. <laughs> a lot of investigations going on there. Uh, so, yeah, they wanted him out so bad. They were willing to lose games. Which is crazy because they were sacrificing the players. Like, you you put them in a bad situation. If I'm the running back and the other team know we running, we, we running down their throat this whole game, they're going to stack the box and I'm going to get less yards and less chance to have a good game and less chance to get drafted. You messing up a lot of people's chances, but they wanted him out bad. Thank you.